Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you what arpeggios are on guitar and how you can use them to get better at fingerstyle guitar, at least for beginners. So, what are arpeggios? Those are actually chords in which you play the notes of the chords one after another from low to high or from high to low both are possible or combinations of them like i explained in earlier videos chords exist from two or more notes together but from all the chords that we've seen so far or the basic chords that i've explained in other videos in earlier videos most of those chords exist from three tones a triad chord let's say right i hope that's the correct name for that but yeah a triad chord which means there are three notes of which that chord exists so an arpeggio from that chord will only consist of those three notes but you can have multiple of the same notes in different octaves of course also guys you might notice that i'm not using a plectrum for this although you can perfectly use a plectrum to play arpeggios and in some cases when you're more advanced that could be actually pretty helpful if you want to do a little bit of improv or use arpeggios on electric guitar then definitely you can try and use your plectrum and exercise with that if that's your priority though as i last week started to show you guys how to uh, begin with finger style and what fingers you should use for which strings i'm gonna continue that path so if you don't know yet Watch the video from last week, the link will be somewhere above here and in the description down below as well. Let's take for example the E minor chord. If you don't know how the chords that I'm using today are played, the links will be somewhere above here or in the description down below. So for the E minor chord, if we want to play all the strings here broken up in an arpeggio but use all the strings, then we should use our thumb for the upper three. And then for the lower three, we use our index, middle and ring finger. So if we play the six strings one after another, we get this. That's an arpeggio of the E minor chord over the whole six strings. We can do the same backwards as well. Okay, if we want to play that in accounts, and let's say the most used one, 4-4, four, four, then perhaps something we can do is use the 4 upper strings in going up, and then the 4 lower strings in going back. For example, like this. Okay, so I start with the 4 upper strings, and then the 4 lower strings here. We can do the same thing with other chords as well. Let's say, for example, the G chord, which is also a chord in which we play the six strings, usually. So we can use the same method. Right? Now let's take the D chord for an example, because we only use the four lower strings, the first four strings. Let's say, in this case, we can play all four strings in going up and all four strings in going down. Which also means that we play the upper or the lower string two times in a row. Then, for example, let's take the C chord in which we play the five lower strings. Then it will be something like this. Now, if you paid attention, you would have noticed that for the upper three strings, I only use my thumb, and then for the third, second, and first string, I use my index, middle, and ring finger, right? So now we've done arpeggios for those four chords, and that's actually a good way to exercise the agility of your right hand to make progression in fingerstyle guitar playing, right? So if we, for example, take those four chords and put them together, then you get what I played in the intro, which is this. Right? 
So you can do that with any chord basically that we've seen beforehand because those chords all have just three tones, different tones in them that we can use for these arpeggios. So to have full arpeggios, you actually need at least three different notes, right? Okay, so that's basically it when it comes to basic arpeggios because you can go very high on your arm with different positions on arpeggios, but we will not go that route yet because we're just starting off with this and we first want to get comfortable with using our fingers here for the fingerstyle guitar playing, right? So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have other tutorials, I have music videos and reaction videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. It's actually, it's the, or use arpeggios on electric, uh, then definitely you can try and use and, um, and with, and which strings you should, and which strings you should play with which, then we can buy, then we, per, now let's, uh, now let's take a, which also means that we all, which also means that we play two times. Then let's take one, uh, but we will go, and we just want to, uh, and we just want to get, fur I hope you learned something again today. So that's basically it for, so that's basically it. I hope, I hope,